man we back real quick for a quick blog it's uh wednesday saturday we taking off to uh daytona beach florida we're like three hour drive from where i'm at um you see the palm trees in the back we're um, in florida got the truck done we're ready to rock and roll we're gonna go out there we're gonna get it we're gonna put on a little baby show got some loud music gonna hit the beach gonna try to hit shows whatever we gotta do anybody want to pull up hang out let me know we'll be out there getting it we're just going on Saturday. I got to be back by Sunday. I got some stuff I got to do. Um, but today's video, we're going to give a quick rundown of the truck to see, you know, if you guys feel it. You know, I got a little bit of stuff still to go on it. But, I mean, for the most part, we got some stuff done to it. It's pretty high, you know, I'm not going to lie. You know, pretty loud. But um, let's give a quick rundown of it. Real quick before we get started on the rundown of the whip, you know, you can... If you read the caption of the thumbnail, it does say we are starting an OnlyFans, but it's not on there to, to, to get wild and all this crazy stuff. But, you know, sometimes, you know, we want to post some videos up of, you know, cars jamming loud, you know, doing all kinds of crazy stuff, all this and that. But, you know, with regulations on YouTube and what can get monetized and all that stuff, you know, it doesn't allow us to really get down and, and, and show what's really good with everything. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, you know, I'm going to start at OnlyFans with a little $5 subscription, you know. I tend to go to a lot of little hood shows, you know, all that stuff, you know, all the real, real good stuff. You know, sometimes stuff gets out of hand, and, you know, we can't even post that on YouTube to let the world know what, what, what really be going on, you know, all this crazy stuff. So, you know, the car game, man, that, that, that stuff gets wild, and it gets out, you know, but it'll be off the chain, too, at the same time. So, you know, might start this little OnlyFans with a $5 subscription to give y'all a, a quick view of what, what be going on. You know, the back behind the scenes type of stuff, you know, everything. You know, the car jamming with the, you know, copyright music, all this other stuff and other cars with the copyright stuff. You know, a little $5 gets you, you know, see all kinds of crazy videos. You know, all the good stuff that YouTube don't allow us to put. So, you know, comment below. Let me know if you guys would, you would, would, would be down with that subscribe only five dollars a month you know ain't nothing too crazy just enough to fund what we got to do and give you all them crazy good ass videos and you know give you all uh, a view what we what uh, what really be going on out here you know yeah, man, it, it, it's so much good stuff that the world doesn't get to see sometimes and you know I got the footage you know and and you know Instagram we can only post so much same thing on YouTube so you know only fans anything goes so you know comment below let me know what's good i'll put the link up if i get it if not go on my instagram you know mouse x trap right here hold on mouse x trap you know the link will be in the bio you know all that good stuff let me know so here she is i got a 2007 uh, trailblazer super sport got a ls2 inside the the hood got a little bit of motor work done to it, it sounds pretty good you know, we put the Corvette emblem, the LS2 emblem on it. Got the truck repainted black. Put the um, green wrap on it, hood, with the single rally stripe. I used to have a chrome hood on it with uh, a black rally stripe. That looked pretty good when I had the 28-inch floaters on it. It's kind of lowered. You know, the back is kind of squatting a little bit because we have all the, the system stuff on it. I mean, I like how it sits, it rides good. A little heavy because of the system, but I mean, it still takes off. Don't forget to follow my Instagram, subscribe to the YouTube. You know we're in Florida because we got all these bugs on this freaking bumper, man. But we gotta clean her up, get her right, gotta shine it, even though it's gonna get dirty when we get out there to the beach. All right, so we put the dash in it. We have built a dash for it. But since we go into Daytona, I got the AC fixed. It was kind of messing up, so I got it fixed. Put the radio in it. You know, looks good. AC works fabulous. You got the ostrich. Pill. All right, so I got these fiberglass door panels that I built. Got the um, stainless steel pole. 
the best tweeters in the game, the Seleniums, the ST400s or 450s, but I think those are the trios. We got an EV10, Eminence 8, and a Selenium 10. You know, I like Selenium EVs and, and Eminences for voice speakers. I call this the um, elephant skin. You see it's got like the stress marks on it. You know, badass stuff, stretch is pretty good. Got the ostrich pillars with the green suede. I gotta add the TV. I got the stripper pole on it, but look at the green suede. Looks really good. So I got a Delta 10s and Selenium 10s in the back with the Selenium tweeters again. We got the nitrous bottle. We are gonna hook it up eventually. But for right now, it's just for show. I mean, it looks pretty good up against it. Man, we got that fiberglass console with that champagne holder. We're going to put some bottles in it this weekend so we can wild out. Cup holders. We got a 10 down there with the stripper pole to hold it from pressuring. Pretty badass. The back doors, we got them painted. We got them Eminence 8s in there. With the Delta 10, selenium tweeter, fiberglass door. You know, I kind of wanted to switch it up so both people can see, you know, the different types of worlds versus the um, leather door and the fiberglass painted door. But they're both fiberglass. They both almost take the same amount of work to get done. You know, but I mean, I honestly like the painted better, but the other one, you know, still looks badass. We still got to finish it to make it look better. But I mean, you've seen the outcome, it looks pretty good. So I made a custom seat in the back, on the custom back. We got the eight inch Eminence in there, with the Delta, another Selenium tweeter. Then these things scream, these things ain't no joke. I know if you guys were to put those in your car, them things would be loud. A lot of people nowadays tend to put those crescendos and uh, other stuff in there. Which is fine, I mean, they, they sound good, but I mean, I'm, I'm a Selenium and Eminence and an EV type of guy. You know, we've been using those since the early 90s, you know, all that stuff. Got another 8 and a tweeter. I mean, you see them floor mats a little dirty. You were putting in some work earlier, trying to tighten up everything, make sure everything's working good, sounding good for the weekend so we don't have no, no problems out there. We can straight get it, hang out. You see the back wall panel that's where the base comes out you'll never see the subs if you've seen in my other videos with the box you know you see me painting it you know and everything but really that's what the only thing that you see all this right here took so much time I've been working on the truck for almost like a year last month was uh, the year it took so long to get her done you know this is somewhat the finished product you know I'm happy with it you know couldn't turn out any better you know I visualized it it came out the way how I wanted to you know it sounds really fantastic I couldn't ask for anything more you know I built the box I pretty much built everything on here by myself you know I did the body work for the, the console my dad painted it at his job he painted up the doors I think squat I think it's gonna be out there there's gonna be so many spotted trucks out there this year which is gonna be pretty cool. I like them trucks. A lot of people don't like them. You know, I think they're pretty badass. You know, a little something different. I like being different. Don't forget to follow my Instagram. I'll be posting on there a lot. You know, I post on there before video drops to give you a little sneak peek. But really, the action really comes on my YouTube. This is the passenger side. You know, give you a quick look. You know, that, that thing is wet, man. You know, another look from this angle. Tin, tweeter poor you know what else could you ask for you know if you're a car freak car audio freak man this is where it's at this is what it all comes down to you know ss on the seats my seats and my center console i haven't finished um i am gonna get a new uh shifting uh gear shift if that's what you call it and a new brake um I've been looking around to see what's good because I'm eventually going to do a little bit more motor work on this thing so I can try to race it with all the weight on it so it just you know requires more more power but the seats right here I'm actually going to go to Mexico here probably in a month or so and I'm actually going to take uh, these uh, seats to go get done well actually I'm going to take the whole truck out there to get done 
you know, so stay tuned for that blog. That blog's gonna be no joke. Hopefully we can attend a little truck show out there. And that thing is gonna be on point, you know, especially going to Mexico, we're riding the streets of Mexico, getting it with the loud system. See what the, the people out there in Mexico be talking about. I know they got some cool ass cars out there. Um, but I mean, we're gonna go out there and get it. You know, look at the, the view of the, um, the rally stripe. The grill really sets it off a little bit with the black and the chrome. And plus with that rally stripe and the green on it, the green at night looks really good. All right, so right now, don't forget, subscribe. Right now, I'm going to show you the uh, the amps and stuff real quick. It's not pretty right now, but, I mean, it gets the job done. You know, this is the heart and soul of the base, that Kicker 2500.1. I got those batteries on there, four little mini lithium 12-volt batteries. Got that JL Audio. That bass doubler that matrix man this is my baby right here a 50.4 kicker kx man this thing it's probably like eight years old but that thing gets the job done that's just on my tweeters this is just on the eight uh, ppi amp and i got the the jl the hd series on um the tens on the rear deck i did have another jl 1200 slash one hd amp but that thing blew so we're actually going to ride to Daytona with none of the tins playing on the doors. But I mean, that thing is still loud with the rest of it, you know. Yeah, if you see the truck out there in Daytona, man, pull up. You know, tell me what song you want to hear. I'll play it, you know, so you can get a feel of it. You know, so you guys can, uh, you know, tell me what you think in person. If you want to hear it in person, you know, give me your opinions. I'm all for it. You know, we're going to be out there getting down. Like I said, we'll be out there Saturday. I'm gonna leave from here around nine o'clock in the morning, so I should be there probably by like 12. Give me something to eat real quick, then hit the beach. We'll be out there getting it, then we're gonna ride around, check it out. I do think there's a show going on, but the tickets sold out so fast, so we didn't get a chance to get it. But I mean, there's gonna be plenty of action outside though, so I mean, we don't mind pulling up outside, just hanging out, a little block party thing, riding up, jamming. Yeah, man, so that concludes a quick rundown of the truck. You know comment down below let me know what y'all think if y'all feeling it y'all vibe with it